wow, 30 years ago already. 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was the response in Singapore, the reception? I mean, when you became, when you came home as the world champion, did the public know of your achievements or was it confined to a very small group? Well, sadly, uh, there isn't any hoo-ha here and there. No you fanfare. Know, no fanfare, nothing. Mm. It's just the small group of us. Uh, oh, you won? Okay, fine. And basically that, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty sad back then because everything is not structured well. And you just got to be yourself. Mm. My time because uh, it's very difficult. Uh, from not knowing Silat and not uh, uh, not a Malay, as you say, uh, so it's difficult for me. Mm. Uh, for me, it's, uh, the lesson that I went through is very difficult. It's uphill battle for me. Mm. For everything that I, I did, I have to prove them to show that this is a sport, it's sports for all and for everyone. Favorite character from the Avengers universe? Incredible heart. Again. Ah, <laughs> Again. Okay, okay. I like big size, man. Right, okay. <laughs> We are not kampung silat, mm. where we just doing some showcase here and there. We have real stuff, punching, kicking, throwing. They got concussion. I myself got dislocation, fracture, fracture here and there. We punch real hard mm. and we train real hard. So looking at all these things, why deprive our silat exponent, our athlete, mm. where he should be getting that sport? And of course, this will be an eye-opener again mm. at his generation to all the other kids out there who want to inspire to be a champion inspire to there's a chance that they can uh, also be a champion in Sila and also get honor mm. from the country so mm. close to 40 years you've represented Singapore both as an athlete as a coach and now you're the CEO of the Singapore Sila Federation thank you very much for your service we wish you and the Silat community the very best. You are truly an SG sports legend. Thank, Thank you. you.